coming up on the drop zone, Cap. You do anything fun Saturday night? Well, all the guys in my barbershop quartet are dead, so... No, not really. You know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, you'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy! Is he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. Join S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. Captain. To build a better world? Sometimes means tearing the old one down. And that makes enemies. Are you ready for the world to see you as you really are? Look out the window. You know how the game works. Disorder, war. All it takes is one step. We're gonna neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen. Thought the punishment usually came after the crime. Shield takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. You need to keep both eyes open. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Your work has been a gift to mankind. You've shaped the century. And I need you to do it one more time. You're up. It's time. The Winter Soldier is wearing a lot of guy liner. I did not expect that, especially since in the very same trailer and earlier shots he's not wearing it. Uh, so I guess it's his night look. Anyway, I do like this trailer, uh, and I'm definitely seeing Captain America the Winter Soldier in theaters, and I'm excited to see it. However, I have to admit, I'm not as in love with this trailer as I'd hoped I'd be. Uh, but let's start off with what I did like. Now, I really like S.H.I.E.L.D., despite my immense dislike for the show, which I'll get to in what I don't like about the trailer in a few moments, I do like them a lot. I've liked seeing them grow uh, as an organization, just as the way the Avengers are growing as a team over the course of Marvel Phase 1. Uh, I'm very excited to see them here, uh, you know, depicted in a way that I think is worthy of them. And I love seeing the Helicarrier return, I love seeing the S.H.I.E.L.D. buildings, and what's so cool to me as a comic book reader is that they look they, like they're ripped right out of the comic books, at least the contemporary ones. So that's very exciting to me. Uh, and also I like seeing Cap's use of his actual shield. Uh, my favorite shot in the trailer is after he beats up all those guys in the elevator and he kicks up his shield. I like the snap to it. And I have to admit that as a comic book reader, I never understood Cap's shields, uh, his shield in the comic. Uh, you know, it didn't seem like a very effective weapon to me. It just, it didn't work. Uh, but I think that this is one of the, uh, this is an instance where I think a character is better served by live action because I like the way he used it in The Avengers. Uh, one of the most impressive things in that film to me is when he jumped behind his shield and used it as an actual shield in that explosion in New York. Uh, that was very cool. Uh, he, especially he could scrunch himself up in a little ball like that. I think Cap has taken some ballet lessons. Uh, but I, he it looks good here. The action looks good over here overall, which I also like. And I also like that he's changed his uniform. They're using the one that Steve Rogers used in the comic while, uh, well, the Winter Soldier was Captain America for a while. I don't want to give too much away, but that happened in the comic. So uh, Steve Rogers took this other uniform. I much prefer it. I think, and also the helmet. I'm glad they're getting rid of the helmet. That is almost, I think it is impossible for anyone to pull off in live action. And I'm glad they're not saddling Chris Evans with it for entire movies. I mean, they even had it be ripped off of him in the Avengers because it just looks so bad. So I, re I really much prefer this new costume. And I felt a little bit bad while I was happy to see Nick Fury Jr. show up in the comic. Uh, I didn't like that they gave him that uniform because I was like, oh, I wish that would go back on Cap. I guess purists want to see him in his original, but I think that this, that's, that to me is a great updated Cap costume. All right, I also liked seeing uh, that they address the political elephant in the room here. I think it's great they're making a Captain America movie about a guy serving in the military and someone who was from the 40s seeing what the American military has become, uh, both in terms of its, its, its 
uh, actual might and its political might. And, you know, the tactics they're using today, how much they've changed. But we're fighting a different type of war, uh, you know, a very different battlefield. Uh, than we were in World War II. So I like the fact that they're kind of dealing with that and that like abrupt change for Cap and how maybe he can see things that others don't and how he's missing some things maybe that others are catching. So I like that they're, they're not just making like a popcorn flick. I like that it has some under, political er, undercurrent. Now, of course, as everybody knows, I'm a big Black Widow fan. Very excited to see her back here. Not loving the hair as much as I liked it in the Avengers, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And I, I liked her rapport with Cap at the beginning of this trailer. I thought that was great. It's nice to see a male and a female character, uh, you know, just have some great work banter. Now, I know they have a kiss in this movie, as we've all seen. Some of us are thinking maybe it's an undercover kiss. I would maybe like to see them just stay as friends, because uh, I think that's nice. And I, I think it's a, it's a refreshing change of pace. Because, you know, not every... Not every, um, you know, man and woman that works together needs to be romantically involved. So I liked that. And also I thought Falcon looked pretty cool. I liked the way his costume looked. I couldn't believe Falcon looked cool. Uh, I don't know, though, if he'll, that'll be used for more than one action set piece, though. That seems like, that seems like you know, how often is that going to come up? I guess because they're on the helicarrier, but they'd be like, oh, that Falcon, he's always the first to jump off this thing because he's got wings. So I don't know how much, I don't, and also in closed spaces, I just don't know how well it's going to work as a character overall, which I think has been Falcon's problem in general. Uh, he's a very limited use superhero. Uh, so hold on, I made some notes here. What else did I like? Oh yeah, and I like the fact, there's so many uh, details here. I also like the fact that it seemed like a direct spinoff of the Avengers movie, which of course I loved. This seemed, I think of any of the, uh, of any of the Marvel movies, this has seemed the most like a continuation of the Avengers, which is great. Love the Avengers. A lot of people love the Avengers. Okay, so that's what I like about the trailer. What don't I like? All right, I think the big, speaking of elephants in the room, this is called Captain America the Winter Soldier. And I think anyone who's not a comic book fan or didn't read Captain America comics would watch this trailer and be like, who's the Winter Soldier? Is that supposed to, be, are they referring to Cap? because uh, he was frozen in ice and he's thawed out now. Is he the Winter Soldier? I mean, I just think that that's supposed to be... The, I, I was, I had hoped and thought, because that's the title, that, that would be the major mystery of the film. But it's not even... It's not addressed here at all. So I'm really surprised about that, and it makes me worried that maybe it's a subplot in the movie. Uh, so we'll see. I think that's... I think that's crazy that that's the case here after watching this trailer, that you don't know what the title is in reference to of the movie the trailer is for. Uh, the other thing that I don't like... Um, let's see here. Oh, yes. Why is there a S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show and a S.H.I.E.L.D. movie franchise? That is absolutely ridiculous to me, especially when one is crap. Now, not only do I think that the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show is so, so subpar that I think it's a, it's a shame that this movie has to battle that uh, in terms, you know, of public attention and public perception, but Coulson is stuck on that crappy TV show and can't come out to play here. One of my favorite things also about the Avengers was that scene. I had a lot of favorite scenes, obviously, of the Avengers, but I really liked when Coulson and Cap were on that little uh, ship together, that little plane, and he was talking about how he was his hero and wanted him to sign his, uh, you know, his Captain America car trading cards. I thought that was wonderful. And I, wouldn't it be great if Coulson could show up here and be the Reginald Vell Johnson to Bruce Willis here, kind of like Die Hard? But oh wait, Chris Evans is no Bruce Willis. Yes, I'm sorry to say that I still am not sold on Chris Evans in this role. It's a very difficult role to pull off. I think he's trying as hard as he can. He might succeed when I see the actual film. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised by Henry Cavill. But I feel like Chris Evans is very wooden and doesn't possess the abilities to show a strong moral uh, and thoughtful undercurrent. You know, still waters run deep. Well, not when it comes to Chris Evans, I feel. And because I've always said, the guy's a comedian. I don't know why he was cast in this role. I think because they physically feel he looks like the character. But I really agree that uh, I believe Alex Ross is the one who suggested this. I thought John Hamm would make a great Captain America. I know he's older, but, you know, whatever. I, I, you know, I think that he would have been great, and I think he would have commanded the kind of authority that Cap's supposed to command. Uh, but I just, or maybe somebody new. I don't know. Look how well Tom Hiddleston worked out as Loki. But I just am still not feeling Chris Evans in this role. Uh, so let me see, what did I, okay, oh yes, the final thing I wanted to say is, and I'm sorry that I, usually I don't have a list to refer to, I do on morning movie news, but I wanted to make sure I got everything about this trailer right, because I know this is a big discussion for us, but um, I really feel a little cheated with the camera choices here, the camera angles. Because it's a political thriller, and it, I kind of was excited that it had that kind of 1970s vibe almost, uh, you know, like films like Days of the Condor and stuff like that, you know, great 70s filmmaking. I had hoped for kind of that level of aesthetic. 
But instead, I feel like what we're getting here is just a few steps, or maybe just half a step, above television. Which, again, is not good, because there's a S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show that exists that you don't ever want this movie to seem like an extension of. Uh, not only because, you know, then why would people pay for it, but because, as I said, a lot of people don't like that television show. I know some of you do, but I think the vast majority of America uh, has said, no thank you. So that's a problem for me, and I, can, I, I, mean, I was going to complain about the lighting, but I realized that the Avengers had similar lighting, and that's what helps make this seem like a spin-off. And some of the shots in the film are beautiful, as I said, when they're showing off the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters and stuff. But a lot of those action sequences seem right out of, like, Law & Order or something you would see on television, like NBC or something. I think The Blacklist has a similar level of action in some cases. So that's disappointing to me, and I really wish... I don't understand... You know, I've seen some of you saying this in the comments, why don't they bring in more auteur directors like Christopher Nolan? Look how well that worked out, everybody, to direct these movies. Uh, I'm sure there are people out there who want to do it. Uh, I'm sure there's a check big enough to convince them. And I think that everybody, from the franchises themselves to the audience to the comic books, would benefit from that kind of treatment. All right, so that's my thoughts on the Captain America Winter Soldier trailer. What do you think? Thank you for being patient waiting for this review. I was out of the office yesterday on a personal errand, uh, something I have to do for my personal life, so I felt bad that I missed it, but thank you for everybody who asked for this coverage, and I hope that uh, this trailer review in depth was uh, worth the wait. Thank you for watching, and you check out these other episodes right now.